excited to have you here today on our flight. It was an early morning in Salt Lake City, but there wasn't a red eye in sight. These girls were all smiles and ready for an experience of a lifetime. But this wasn't just any regular flight. From TSA security to the gate, on the ground, and high above in the tower. Even our Today Show crew, all women. The girl power was in full effect. It's all part of Delta's annual wing flight, introducing the next generation of girls to careers in the traditionally male-dominated field of aviation. We thought, what better way than to put them on an airplane, take them somewhere, and introduce them to the world itself. Some girls had never been on a plane before. Who's nervous? Me. Me. Both of you a little nervous? Yes. Like, oh my God, I'm going. <laughs> and others were already pilots in the making. So wait a minute, you just got your driver's license not that long ago, and you're already flying planes? I flew a plane before I got my license. But every one of them was excited to meet women who are already living their future career dreams. I met some women that already flew and realized that it was a possibility that it was something that I could do too. Well, there's an expression, you know, if you see it, you can be it. I don't think enough of them get to see it, therefore do it. And I think that's why we're doing this today. As we prepared for takeoff, I got in on some of the fun. I'm so excited to be sharing this journey with you. Today, you are all first class flyers. And I just have one question before we take off today. Who runs the world? <laughs> And with that, we were off. Our destination, Houston. These young women would get a chance to tour NASA and learn about a different type of flight. Mission control, here we come. First we flew the skies, now it was time to shoot for the stars. We got a peek inside mission control to see where all the action happens. Even though you've tried to think of everything, something else still come, goes wrong. And that's the fun part of the job. Is you and your team get together and try to figure out what are we going to do to make this work. Houston, we have a problem. We need more girls. And who better to show them the way than one of the coolest girls at NASA, astronaut Jeanette Epps. Whenever you talk to young girls, what do you, what do you tell them? Things don't happen overnight. It's all consistency over time and making sure you do very good work and also making sure you do something that you really love. Someday we're hoping yes. that a woman will step foot on the moon. Yes. Is that someday coming soon? Hopefully by then we will have maybe a female crew put on the moon. And but, what do you think of that? Dream? Oh gosh, that would be, uh, <laughs> I think it would be amazing. But until then, we happily settled for just touching a piece of the moon. I think one of you someday will actually be able to touch it for real? Yeah, that would be really fun. Nice. We even got a chance to step foot on an actual space shuttle. You gotta know all those buttons. Yeah. I'm sure it took them a lot of time, but if you're passionate about something, it makes it a lot easier. It was all a wonderful sight for Beth Poole, who helped create Delta's wing flight five years ago. And she was moved by how far it has come since then. To see these girls and the expressions on their faces, what was that like today? That is the most rewarding part. You see that glimmer in their eye, and they know that there's some possibility that they could be doing this. And it's something they probably had never thought of in many cases. By the end of the day, it was clear. The future of aviation is bright and more female.